Hello, 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 everyone. Another movie, another, yeah, you know what the, you know what it is. You already know. I'm spamming the sub box. Uh, apologies in advance for all the French names I'm gonna have to pronounce. But anyway, Titan is the sophomore film by Julia Ducourneau, the director of Raw from 2016, 2017. The internet is saying 2016, but it's on my 2017 list. Oh well, doesn't matter. The movie was awesome either way. I haven't seen it in a while, but the two times I did see Raw, it got under my skin. When I saw that Titan won the Palme d'Or, arguably the most prestigious prize in the film industry, I was really excited, but winning that award wasn't really an indicator on what my experience would be. Parasite won the Palme d'Or in 2019. I thought it was great, but did I have an incredible experience like I had when I saw Portrait of a Lady on Fire, The Lighthouse, Waves, Midsommar, or Beanpole? No, not really. Shoplifters in the Square won in the years prior, and although I really loved the first half of Shoplifters, and I thought the Square was fine, they really didn't live up to the hype for me. So yeah, I was happy that Julia Ducourneau became the second female director to win the Palme d'Or, but I didn't know if the hype was gonna fly right over my head, or if I was gonna have the experience that I ended up having, which is one of the best, not only movie watching, but theatrical experiences I've had in a long time. I'm gonna do my best not to describe too much of the plot of Titan because although the plot in most movies is usually not the most important thing to me, this is one of those movies where even the premise alone might be a spoiler because the film is shocking moment after shocking moment. Now that I say that you'll be shocked, there's an expectation to be shocked in a certain way, and trust me, there's no way to anticipate this movie, so don't even try. This film is pretty blunt about its metaphors, which I don't think is a bad thing, and I don't think it's sacrificed sacrifices its story to deliver those metaphors either, but it's really hard to do that when the whole point of the story is the metaphor. During the Q&A, the director kept getting asked about certain elements of the story, and she said that she doesn't like to explain the movie because it's in the movie already, and there's no need to explain it, and it's the audience's job to interpret it themselves, but she ended up explaining the whole movie anyway. In one of the earlier reviews, I told you that most of the movies I saw were very funny, despite the events that were taking place, and all Although this is one of the darkest films I saw at the festival, Titan was no exception. The mix of absurd violence and body horror and just the situation that Julia Ducourneau puts these characters in generated so many laughs, whether it was out of nervousness, disbelief, or the dramatic irony that was at play. The performances were fantastic, especially from the two leads, Vincent Lindon and Agathe Roussel, who barely speaks in it. The cinematography was wonderful, most notably the opening Wonder that introduces Agathe Roussel's character. My only gripe with Titan is the ending, really. I understood it, but it felt like leading up to the ending, it just sort of ended. I don't know how to describe it. I I just have to rewatch it, I think, so I know exactly where it's going. I'm not about to spoil it, but for those of you who have seen it, I understood what the final scene would be, but like the last couple of scenes up until that final scene, I was kind of like, okay, you know? Either way, I'm gonna rewatch it, so it's fine. But other than that, I absolutely adored this experience. I was horrified, I was engaged, and most importantly, I was moved. Titan is one of the very best films of the year, and it was my favorite film of the year for a couple of days, and then I saw another movie that you'll learn about soon. I can't wait to see this film again, and I'm enthusiastically giving Titan a 9 out of 10. Oh, and for those of you who try to make the one-to-one -one comparison with David Cronenberg because of the body horror elements I mentioned earlier, shut the fuck up. No one cares. I promise you, no one cares. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments, subscribe if you haven't already, share with your friends, do all the things. We still haven't recorded the Halloween special yet yet and we're almost in the middle of October and uh, we will at some point we're gonna do it and the, and both videos will be out on Halloween or around that time in October I swear I'm not coping all right <laughs> bye bye you have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point okay other people make movies